the Solent Overlord Military Collectors Club once again held their bank holiday show in Denmead, a chance for vehicle owners and reenactors to show off to the public and bring history to life over the three-day weekend. And despite the rain, an explosion or two kept the crowds entertained. When the military is finished with its vehicles, the heavy machinery is often sold to the public, and as a collector, where better to show off your vintage tank and period uniform than at a reenactment weekend? The Overlord Show near Denmead is an annual event where history comes to life. It started as a, as a small club get together with vehicles, and it's slowly um, expanded now. So it's a three day event. Not only do we have our own vehicles here, but we have our visitors. Um, and also in recent years, we're getting more and more reenactors come to the show, uh, and this appears to be uh, really the, the nostalgia. Um, really, we, we're going right from 1914 up to the, the present day. The favourite, especially uh, as far as Second World War is concerned, everyone likes to be a German. The main of the guys like to be Americans because they've got the really fancy uniforms. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get that many World War II British reenactors because I think the uniforms are a bit on the drab side. But one of the great things is it's, it's a family affair. You also that you'll probably see on when you've been on site there's a number of uh, wives and girlfriends, and they dress up as well. That one of the things recently is, is actually getting children involved as well. You'll see some of the, some of the uh, reenactors reacting with the, the children. The MPs issue uh, ID cards to, to the children as well and uh, treat them as, as, as a bit like soldiers. They seem to enjoy it. So we've set up a vehicle checkpoint on the bridge here um, and essentially what we would be doing for real is we'd have a barricade across the bridge and we'd be controlling vehicles coming in and out, making sure that the vehicles were moving one way or the other and there was no blocks. Um, where it's a choke point, we'd have to make sure the military vehicles got priority um, and then civilian vehicles were moved in afterwards. It's kind of a grey area and it's quite hard to differentiate really between reenactors and living history groups um, and a lot of people would argue one way or the other. But I think we're more living history because we don't really get involved in the battles as that's not a job that the military police would have been doing. It all started with Pete, my colleague, who um, picked up the red capped hat and it fitted him and he looked good and it all kind of snowballed from there really. So the military police being massively un underrepresented were a really vital role in the Second World War. They kept the roads open, they made sure that the lads were behaving themselves and not having too much fun. They also looked into things like uh, black market goods and stuff like that. So they were a real critical group it just isn't represented because nobody really likes the military police. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true. No, it really is, unfortunately. <laughs> um, the problem is we, we stopped people having fun. That was our job, to make sure the lads didn't have too much fun and didn't get into too much trouble. One of the highlights of the weekend is the battle reenactments, with the vehicles being put through their paces and the odd pyrotechnic adding to the drama. We get a broad range of visitors here. Some, some are the, the real guys that just want to see the vehicles. And then you get the families that come out. So we actually, during, during the day we actually have a, a range of moving vehicle displays and then also we basically give the, uh, the reenactors a chance to just show us how good they are. Uh, I think again this year the Germans lost but uh, occasionally we, we let them win. This is my, my own vehicle, uh, this is a, a, an Alvis Sabre which is, is a 1960s vehicle. It's a bit of a sports car tank, 50 miles an hour. There, there are some speciality vehicles here. My favourite vehicle this, this year, I think, was a, a 1917 Model T Ford, which has been adapted for a, a military, uh, military usage. This is Richard Stringer for That's TV.